With prayers answered from our last trip to Mecca and a full Iman boost, your mother-daughter duo is back with another travel vlog, Saudi edition. Join us as we embark on a journey to the holiest and happiest places while we complete our Islamic pilgrimage and walk in the footsteps of our beloved Prophet Muhammad wasallam. I hope this series can be an both educational and a retrospective view into the journey of a Muslim woman traveling Saudi Arabia. And if you're into these kind of vlogs, hit the subscribe button, join the family, and let the Arabian Nights begin. Today we're going on a tour, and something about touring always gets me in the vlogging mood. So we're taking a uh, couple hour private tour around the city of Mecca to see the historic places. Not that bad of a price for four people. It's like $65 US. Oh. We did most of our ibado. It's never an ibado, of course. But we're just going to take a little break between Fajr and Duhr to go do this tour. So, our tour started literally across the street from our hotel where our Prophet Muhammad's first wife, Khadija, عنه, is buried. Of course, the Yellow Haji police are still active in their vehicles. But anyways, we hopped in our car, drove through many tunnels. As you know, the city of Mecca is full of mountains and highways carved in between. But plot twist, the best part of this tour is that we did not negotiate or figure out if our driver even spoke English. So it's no problem for us and I hope it's no problem for you. We'll continue the vlog. As we all know, the best part about Islam is how multicultural and any nationality can all come together and understand the same Islamic history as it's all written in the book and everyone understands so enjoy the views and enjoy the little bits of history that we get on this beautiful tour traveling around the holy lands first stop this mosque is not far from the Haram, with a vast prayer hall decorated in black and white marble can host over 6,000 sallies for prayer. Next up is where Adam and Eve met on earth after being banished. All area, we, all area signboard, yellow color. Okay. Boundary. Mashallah. Mashallah. They, they are a fat mm -hmm. prayer this masjid. And now this is Masjid Namira where our beloved Prophet, may peace be upon him, gave our final khutbah. Allah Rasulullah Sallam, yani, akhir khutbah this masjid. Ah. Khutbah to the end. And now this paved walkway with sprinklers all the way down the 19 kilometer stretch is where your fifth pillar of Islam will begin and inshallah be completed. May Allah accept everyone's efforts to complete their Hajj. So this is the 19 kilometer walk. Three route, one, two, three. Ah. There's nothing compared to this, huh? Yeah, well, we'll have a look at the Wafu. Harun Rashid. Yeah. The wife named Zubaida. Ah, uh, yeah, Zubaida. Zubaida Nahar, this one. Oh, Haram, no water. Okay. This place, oh, Mumkin, Allah Alam. Many years ago, Queen Zubaydah had gone to Hajj and after noticing that there was no availability to water, she created this water well canal system that was on the Baghdad route to Hajj. A mind-blowing fact after I looked it up, considering that I just finished complaining about a 19-kilometer walk, that Hajj was a point that people walked from all over the world, by foot from Baghdad, for example, in this case, subhanAllah. Close, one year, yeah. one, one day open. One day. So. The tents are fireproof cloth. cloth. I just love that they've thought of every hazard possible. Men, 20 men, uh, 40 men, no problem. Four day, live. Live here. Hujjal. 
And the pre-hedge tour continues. Our guide shows us that these are the tents where up to 30 to 40 men would sleep in and probably the same for the women's section as you wake up each morning to continue on the route. Uh, tomorrow <coughs> morning, so, so, so. tomorrow morning through uh, concrete, yeah. uh, 21 piece. Yeah. Before Maghrib, come back. Come back, sleep in. Okay. Third day, uh, through <laughs> concrete, <laughs> come back. Halas, finish. <laughs> This one? Yes. Ismail alayhi salam killing Ibrahim alayhi salam? Yeah, Ibrahim brother. La Ibrahim alayhi salam killing uh, son Ibra Ismail alayhi salam. Oh, this mountain? Yeah. Sometimes. Sacrifice his son. Sacrifice. Take out? God, God. God, God. Min, min ila uh, al Rabbana. Al Rabbana. Wow. Ibrahim alayhi salam killing. Yeah. Like in Alhamdulillah, min Rabbana, Ismail alayhi salam, Allah told us God. That's what? This place, uh, uh, Abraha. Uh, Malik Yemen. Before uh, Malik Yemen, yeah. he died uh, Surah Phil. Alam tara kaifa fa'ala rabbu kabiya sahabil Phil. Ah, Ababil. Ili mihim bihe jarati misi jil. Elephant. The elephants. This place. Oh. Elephant place is here. Masha Shimbraha Marudi ko baga haku turan. Oh, halkan. And of course, those two pieces of history need no further explanation, but just to be formal about it, one is whether Abraham sacrificed his son, and the other is where the Yemeni king came to attack Mecca, and his army of elephants were destroyed by birds and pebble stones. Hello, name? Name, Jamarat. Jamarat. Uh, uh, this, this. Uh. And here we have Masjid Al Khayf, where over 70 prophets of Allah have prayed in. Say no. Nazal Quran. Ah, Ah. Quran 114 uh, Surah. Uh, one surah name, surah alaq, yaqara bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. The five ayah, mm. nazar. Shahar Ramadan. Month of Ramadan. And although this beautiful piece of history needs no explanation at all, we still tried to get a translation out of our guy. And yes, Google Translate did fail. <laughs> There's a hole at the top. Uh, yeah, Rasul uh, 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 sitting, sitting in the house. <laughs> <laughs>
price gap. <laughs> and yes, the Saudi Tim Hortons did live up to par, except for the fact that they call the ice cap the Frosty. It's an ice cap all day, every day. Okay, guys. Um, and yes, our driver thinks we're absolutely nuts for ordering coffee the size of our head compared to Saudi coffee culture with a small little cup with no sugar. Uh, every day, uh, eat, eat, eat uh, yes. ajwa, ajwa. Uh, honey. Uh, how much? Mashallah. Wrong. This one. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> no. And one of the final parts of our tour where our guide corrects us on the exact burial location of Khadija radiallahu anhu, which is actually at the top of this mountain near one of those trees. Everybody see tree, a small tree, small last area. Small tree. Yeah. Yeah, on last area. The top, yeah. top, up, up, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last, last. Okay. This place. Hakitka, kudachira. See? Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Last, yes. Last, uh, last, last. Only one tree. One tree, yeah. 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 Khadija. Three Khadija. boy, three boy. Uh -huh. Three boy. Yes, yes. Uh, three Sahabi. Yes, Sahabi. Okay. Uh, front, this masculine name, Masjid Jin. Okay. Jin. Yeah. Masjid Jin. Rasulullah Jin uh, read Quran. Ita'allam. Rasul. Wow. Jin. Surah Rahman. Surah Rahman. Yeah. Okay. This one. Mm -hmm. This one. Oh, okay. This one. Masjid Jin. Masjid Jin. Your okay. hotel. This. <laughs> why? Why is it Jin? Masjid Jin. Yeah. Uh, read Quran. Yeah. With Rasul. Surah Rahman. This masjid name Masjid Fatah. Fatah. And? Yeah. Yom the war. Yeah. This one must you salli. This one must be shajra. Three, three must you. Wow. Three. Rasulullah uh -huh. came one tree came here. Yes. Kafir uh -huh. uh, see come back tree place. Yani in the sajal right uh, location must be shajra. Okay. History. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we've reached the end of our tour and the end of this vlog, but this is where I need your help. As you can tell, me and the guides, both brains were fried by the end of this history translated into many languages tour. So if you can leave a comment of the last two messages he mentioned and their significance, that would be of great help to us. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and stay tuned for our next episode.